was in Mortal Kombat. It's been going for a while. It has, it has. Um, my first memories of it are really uh, when it was basically when the fun fair came to town and they used to have a, a hut of just arcade machines. Yeah. And there was um, just, you had the same with Street Fighter 2 where you had just kids crowding around it and you couldn't get a look in. <laughs> yeah. So there's a, but then there was Mortal Kombat which appeared out of nowhere um, after the Street Fighter 2 hype was uh, sort of still, yeah, st- still going strong and um, it's just the sound effects that came from it. Came yeah, well, see, bottle, yeah. came from the, the machine. I was like, "What the hell is this now?" I was on holiday in France, and I just heard like "Finish Him." Yeah. When I was in the arcade, I was looking at Street Fighter, and then I just saw it of the other side of the room, and I'd never seen that much blood in a video game before. No. And I, I had to play it, but I was terrible at it. <laughs> so I was about nine. I never really got. Was, I never really get really got a look in because the the arcade machine was always so busy. I never got yeah. to play it. I used to sort of try and watch behind over people's shoulders and stuff. <laughs> and then when I heard that it was coming out for the home consoles, and I had a Mega Drive. I couldn't have been more excited. <laughs> I had to Just, wait a bit for the SNES release. It came shortly after, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, a little bit. But yeah, so I was I was well jealous of all of my mates at school that had a Mega Drive. We're talking about, oh, I'll fucking rip someone's head off and put yeah. combat in it. And if you remember, the SNES one didn't have the blood in by default, but the Mega Drive one did because yeah. Mega Drive is edgier and more sort of. It wasn't yeah. really. Uh, Nintendo as, family, yeah. family focused. And I just remember the instruction booklet in particular, which I've actually got in front of me now. All it has is the epilepsy warning, <laughs> um, a, a brief storyline on one page, and then a page of basic moves and nothing else. That's where the instruction book stops. <laughs> So there's no, it doesn't even tell you the special moves for the characters. It doesn't even tell you what the fatalities were. I didn't even realise there were fatalities when I first bought the game. It's a risky move, isn't it? Because that's sort of the hook. Yes. Now it's fatalities and special moves. Well, we're talking about, um, I'm just looking at the date on the back. When did the Mortal Kombat 1 come out? Uh, 90, 90, yeah, 92. 92, 93. Yeah. Uh, no one had internet in their homes, so we couldn't just look it up straight away, which you can now. You can even find you had to buy a fucking copy of fucking Games Master. Yeah, you had to wait for Games Master to come out, or um, one of your rich mates at school had a little printout of all the moves. <laughs> <laughs> and he sort of, where'd you get that from? Oh, the internet. Yeah. What do you mean, the internet? Yeah, what's that? What are you talking about? My dad works for IBM. Yeah, <laughs> my dad My dad printed it off at work. <laughs> right, okay, brilliant. So, going to give me that? Well, yeah. I need to know what these fatalities are. Well, yeah, a lot of them, I remember in the first one, a lot of them were amazing. Uh, some of them were really shit. There was like Kano's heart rip, that was awesome. I, I did like that was in the first one, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. And um, uh, the classic Sub Zero spine rip, which yeah. is sort of yeah. Those two fatalities are the reason that there are age restrictions on video games. <laughs> more, the more. ER, is it ESRB or ERSB? Um, those ratings yeah, exist the, because of that game. The everyone rating in yeah. America, and we have the actual PEGI rating now. But yeah. um, what they had back then at the time was either a sort of warning sticker on the front, or um, they did actually have ratings, um, but it didn't come into play until later on. People do say that the first Mortal Kombat is responsible for the age ratings to be on video games, but if you actually look at the cartridges, which I've got in front of me now, even Mortal Kombat 3. It doesn't have a sort of PEGI rating, it has a sort of ELSPA rating, 15 plus on the back. And it's not even on the front, so... That's Mortal Kombat 3, that's you Mortal can Kombat pull 3. someone's skeleton through their skin yes. in that game. And all it was is just a European leisure software um, rating, which is only on the back of the cartridge, not on the front. So any un, un, you know, unwilling, un, you know, un, unwitting uh, sort of parents would just look at it and go, Oh, this seems fine, I'll get this for my... Uh, but no, it's um, it's Mortal Kombat three. Love. I think my dad was annoyed because there was he thought that combat with a K. He thought he thought I'm not buying that for my kid because it's really poor spelling. <laughs> yeah, he didn't teach me bad habits. My dad bought me the first Mortal Kombat game. I don't think he thought anything of it at the time. And uh, <laughs> he was, I think he he was sort of shocked when he saw the content of the game. But then he ended up joining in with me and playing yeah. <laughs> playing it with me. And we had some brilliant times on Mortal Kombat 1 for the Mega Drive at home. See, well, I mean, I think after it took off, they everything, even now that the series has gone on, everything just got bigger, yeah. more violent, more well, cartoony. Well, there was, mm, so it's a way around it, there except, was a, yeah, except in the new one. <laughs> <laughs> well, there was a sort of lull in the Mortal Kombat series where it all just Unless became... Unless it went full 3D, 
and it sort of yeah. lost its way a bit. I remember Mortal Kombat Four. I do. I still enjoy Mortal Kombat Four, but it, it there was a bit of a backlash because it had full three D arenas, and if it's a projectile based fighting game sort of defeats the purpose a little bit exactly and a lot of the fatalities became a bit unimaginative where it was just various it was just different variations of blowing people up <laughs> wasn't it <laughs> I remember a reptile eats someone's skin off yeah that's pretty it's pretty, yeah. but then, you know, pretty when... vicious but yeah the rest of it is just oh well, I'll chuck someone up in the air and then I'll throw a fireball at them yeah that's a tiny bit of claret and they used to sort of explode and they'd have about 20 leg bones yeah well they, for some game like fucking the spin offs Mortal Kombat mythologies and more combat special forces I mean, utterly pointless games the special forces has no fatalities whatsoever right, so what's the point and you have to play as Jax like right. the most ridiculous <laughs> returning character I mean he's pointless he's shit nobody, nobody very, chooses to play as Jax wasn't a very popular character as far as I remember and he got his own game uh, just... and, well and never again PlayStation no, no. exclusive and it was dreadful PS1 still is dreadful yeah, PS1 yeah. was it yeah yeah Oh, it's still awful. But yeah, so, um, Mortal Kombat Mythologies, it's, it's pointless. It's a ridiculous game. You can occasionally do a fatality on a boss character if the game decides it will let you. <laughs> but yeah, platforming when the platforming mechanics are broken and fighting when the fighting mechanics aren't nearly as fun as the main Mortal Kombat game. You just play an old one. The, the Mythologies, I think it started off as a half-decent idea, but it just went wrong somewhere, yeah. I think. That's it. Well, yeah, would have been I mean, a good idea if it was Shaolin done Monks well. is that that's actually a good game that deviates from the formula. It's actually fun. Oh, the Xbox. Yeah. One. Yeah, that's yeah. a belting game. And it, it, you know, it's got a lot of fatalities per character, and it fills in a little bit of backstory. And a pretty good versus mode. Yeah. But it goes back to sort of almost to the sort of classic Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Uh, it, yeah. The versus mode feels a bit like Power Stone. Right. Games yeah. like that. Yeah, or, or even fun. Soul Calibur, maybe. Yeah. Or Dead or Alive, that sort of. Yeah. Where you can sort of. It is, that is the 3D one, isn't it? Where you can sort of manoeuvre. Or is that a 2D sort of fighter? Yeah, uh, it's a 2D plane. Uh, right, right. But yeah. But yeah, it's more. It's like Power Stone in that you've got an arena. And you can yeah. run around it and kick the shit out of your <laughs> opponent. So yeah, no, it's quite fun. Mate, yeah, you, the, you, my favourites are new ones. Yeah. I think Mortal Kombat 9 came out of left field with a quality story mode. And. Um, Really, really updated graphics, and it was they took it back to basics, just two D plane again. Yeah, I was going to say somewhere in between all of that. I think we've almost forgotten. Um, we haven't but almost haven't forgotten. almost forgotten. Um, the Nintendo DS even had a Mortal Kombat sort of classic oh, collection. Oh, Mortal which Kombat is Three is amazing yeah. on and the it, DS. Yeah, on the DS one, it had um, a few of the, diff- the 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 classic Mortal Kombat games, didn't it? it had one, two, and three, and something else uh, I think you can unlock them but yeah I mean, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 on the DS and it was... had an online mode as well yeah and it's, I mean it's hard as nails yeah like disproportionately hard it, it does upset me playing that but I... it's actually a re- it's a solid it's, game because yeah. the other handheld versions are dreadful Mortal Kombat 1 on the Game Boy is Ooh, virtually unplayable yeah. Mortal Kombat 2 <laughs> bit better but not that fun the, the Game Gear one was alright yeah the Game Gear was, one was okay it had um, it was pretty much a sort of mix up of the mass system and Mega Drive versions, but it was playable. You only had two buttons though, <laughs> which Except was yeah, the Game Boy version, pointless. Yeah. <laughs> T- only two buttons for a fighter, mm, not sure that's going to work. Yeah, it yeah, was it's dreadful, but yeah, the um, the, like the Deadly Alliance and fucking Armageddon, oh, yeah. the ones, yeah, but those on there, not not wholly unfun on on large consoles, but on Game Boy Advance, it is. A horrific game. The screen doesn't even go dark when you do a fatality, <laughs> and it's that the graphics are that shitty. You can't see what's going on. It's it's just not a fun game at all. The handheld versions have generally been quite crap, except shockingly the Vita version of Mortal Kombat Nine is amazing because oh, it's right, not just like that. yeah, it's just like the console game. It's we're yeah, really really good. So but yeah. Mortal Kombat Ten, the new one. Oh, the PS4 and Xbox One. Yeah, yeah. Well, 2015 <laughs> is awesome. We've had quite a few scraps on that, haven't we? We have, haven't we? Um, I don't even. You're you're the Xbox One person. I don't. The most modern console I have is a Wii U, <laughs> and um, <laughs> but I I absolutely love the new Mortal Kombat. It's, it's amazing. I'll end I'll end up getting a PS4 because of it. 
Yeah, well, that's it. I mean, they've taken it in the right direction. I think they started with like Freddy Krueger and uh, I suppose Kratos, if you had the PSV version of Mortal Kombat, yeah. PS3 version of Mortal Kombat 9. They sort of, you know, they bring in some outside characters, but the outside characters in the new one, like Alien, Predator, Leatherface, Jason from Friday the 13th, they're really, really good ideas. Yeah, it's bringing in some sort of mo- uh, s- slashers, uh, you know. Uh, Villains from slasher films, basically. Yeah. It's, it's a perfect fit. Yeah. Perfect fit. And yeah. it, it's the perfect. Because the, the, the graphical capabilities, the level of realism you get in the new fatalities. I mean, some of them are fucking disgusting. Yeah. I'm not I'm not even a fan of gore, but I somehow enjoy the fatalities. And <laughs> it, they're, they're, they're a lot more imaginative this time around. They've, I think they've made a conscious effort to make them not all the same, where people are just blowing up in various different <laughs> ways. Now they're just getting me up. split in half in different yeah. ways. <laughs> and uh, one of my favourites is, um, is, it, is it Cassie Cage, where she... Uh, she ends up doing a selfie and puts it on Facebook. Oh, it's, yeah, it's one of the... Yeah, that is... That, it's a disgusting, disgusting sort of does a, fatality. Sort of does a Chelsea smile, I think. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, it breaks and then, their and jaw. she uh, grabs it and just does, just does a little selfie and posts it online. <laughs> you can see people commenting on it. It's just genius. <laughs> oh, it is vicious. Well, that's it. I found that to be Goro, disgusting. Like, Goro commented going, lol, and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> genius. And it's just... It's a good reference to modern times. It's Absolutely. It brings, it, brings Absolutely. it into the, into the present day. But yeah, I mean, all said and done, Mortal Kombat is a series that keeps on giving. Yeah. And I hope it does for a long time to come. It's definitely had its bad times. It's had its bad times, but yeah. the good times are worth, through. worth the wait. Yeah. I think the best thing that happened to it was Midway closing down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seems to have come back for that. And now I've noticed no none of the new games have fucking puzzle... Uh, Puzzle combat, oh yeah, or combat carts, combat carts. Yeah, yeah. Which is, I mean, it's just pointless. If you have to add in extras that are nothing to do with scrapping, then it means your fighting mechanics are fucked. I mean, the the Mortal Kombat three, for example, was um, was uh, developed <laughs> in in association with Williams, who make pinball tables. So <laughs> I'm, I'm glad these companies have just just abandoned the whole Mortal Kombat yeah, series. Yeah, we just just we'll leave start it. afresh. Start yeah. afresh. <laughs> Some nice new blood, as it were. Absolutely. Scorpion wins fatality.